hi this is sage sunset welcome to my channel and i hope that you're doing well in this video we're going to be doing a pick a card to see who loves you so before we get started let me do my who loves you welcome in we'll get to see who loves you the most right now who loves you okay I feel Aquarius, Cancer, or an Earth sign. All right, let's just get started. Who loves you? Shuffle here. Who is loving you? Who is loving you? Who is loving you the most right now? Hmm. Alright, so this is how we're doing it. The sun is here, heading or reading our messages. So you're gonna pick from between these three stacks of cards here. One, two, three. So that's my left, middle, and right, my right. So we're gonna go ahead and choose from which stacks of card you want your messages to come from. One, two, or three. And let's get started so take a minute to really breathe and feel the energy behind each stack so that we can get the most accurate message for you who loves you hmm penetrate these cards one two three all right so let's go we're gonna start with number one which is on the left here. All right, we got the Tree of Pentacles. Okay. Someone light haired. Someone with light hair. Someone who feels like an earth sign. Taurus. Capricorn or Virgo. Someone who is deep. Maybe philosophical, someone you can connect with on a deep level. Maybe someone who has a platform where they teach and lead from. A consultant, a spiritual healer, someone who has high value in themselves. So this is who loves you, an earth sign. Yes. Grounded, methodical. Hmm. Could be your a spirit angel, really, a spirit guide in your life. All right, that's for you. That's the sign that loves you. So let's get into number two. This love actually, it feels like a partnership. Someone that you can rely on. They may have water in their chart as well. And that is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So this person loves you. Remember, it doesn't only relate to romantic affiliations. But it could be your mother, your sister, a co-worker. Maybe it's someone at work that admires you and appreciates you because it has to do with money as well someone who helped you to establish money into your life 
a meeting maybe you trade Bitcoin or you're a trader this person taught, taught you how to trade or you taught this person how to trade or something like that but they helped you to manifest a feeling of wealth or a sense of wealth about yourself okay this person loves you okay somebody this this person is kind kind-hearted okay so we're gonna move on to number two so you could also skip ahead you know if I'm taking too long to read the messages so we're gonna go into number two who loves you Wow the seven of swords I feel like this person would do anything for you anything an earth sign as if they are very hardworking, responsible, independent, like grounded in, like I feel like a Capricorn energy here. It is an earth sign or maybe a little bit of air sign. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for you. Or Aries, Taurus, Libra, sorry, Aries, <laughs> Gemini or Libra for the air sign. I feel there's there's a sense of high value like a this person comes with an energy around them I don't know if they smile a lot I feel like this person might smile whenever you see them they're smiling a lot like they walk with their smile always smiling like they bring that energy or they're always happy but something of that sort this person may be dark skinned. Hmm. I don't see that this person is very, very emotional. I feel like they're methodical. They know how to get what they want. They, they move toward what they want. They consider you though. I think they move and consider you in their movements like they do things for you they will do anything they will do a number of things to Im impress you who is this person <laughs> I want to say it's maybe you're, you have a child with this person maybe it's possible okay I feel Capricorn all right all right that's the message i'm getting for you who chose card number two that's the person that loves you you know better than me at this point all right we're gonna get to number three who loves you it's your turn all right <laughs> ready who loves you card number three the knight of swords wow someone rushing into you air sign as well here so that's Aries Gemini Taurus sorry why do I keep saying Taurus Aries Gemini Libra an air sign someone that moves with their gut like to come into you or to just go out, go and go toward what they desire they don't hesitate they just move swiftly come maybe they're coming into you hmm I don't if if who loves you so this person might be coming into you it feels like though they're coming not very peacefully <laughs> as, if, as if they're charging to you like eagerly to get to you number three the knight of swords they're coming maybe they're going to be intentional you know deliberate about what they're saying mm -hmm. decisive like they want it they're taking action and they're coming in to be direct you know no ifs and buts they know what they're saying they know what they want is that so they're coming when they get to you they might just 
pull up like if they're driving a car they, the car might just pull up with a screech i feel like that's the force they're coming with and then they jump out and they run to you <laughs> and they still have that energy of being so eager to come to you i don't know what they have to say really maybe they they want to defend themselves or to say hey i deserve another chance it's the energy that feels that way very passionate mm. okay so that's what we have let's let's end it here thank you so much for coming through and i hope that these messages resonate with you i will see you beautiful people in another reading remember that the sun came out to really head your reading so it's all beautiful this is a card of celebration so it does apply to each deck of cards so the person coming in for number three here which was the last reading the knight of swords could be something about marriage celebration they might be coming in with good news of prosperity the person that will do anything for number two here it's beautiful it's, it's like a childlike relationship very playful open free spontaneity captivity embrace that's the kind of love or energy that they have for you for number one this person is deep they there's a they have a, a, a low sense of passion for you or a controlled where they're like mm-hmm but then they're thinking deeply about you how to approach you what to do they think that they have they're thoughtful of you so this is like a deep deep connection and a sense of self-worth and pride to be with you like real honorable friendship meaning connect meaningful connection okay that's for number one all right thank you for coming through and i'll see you again next time take care much much love to you <laughs>